Hi guys, um, just quickly, I didn't want to let you hang after the last video and uh, you guessing whether I got those flowers on my nails or the other pattern. So what I did, my battery was empty but I just did it and I will show you what the result was. Uh, I had a problem with this one as a, as a color code underneath. So what happened after the last attempt, um, I will post it in the comments as a link or as a picture here in the video. I will see how I do this. Um, this one smushed, so it smushed quite badly. It just didn't dry. Like I had, I had it on for 20-30 minutes in the end. I, the Vinylux top coat needs like 8 minutes, 8 and a half minutes to dry. So this was on for like half an hour and the whole thing came off again. So it goes on too thick. It doesn't dry fast enough. If you have an idea how to apply this as thinly as you needed to apply this to have it dry and if that's possible I don't know but basically I didn't want to bother with this essence the gel nail polish anymore underneath um, as I do have CND vinyl lux polishes at home so these are just divine heavenly to apply and with the drying and everything so what I did this one is beckoning begonia number 189 by CND Vinyl Lux. It's a really nice older looking pink with a nice shimmer to it and I applied two coats on my nails of the Beckoning Begonia by CND Vinyl Lux and I used the Essence the Gel Nail Polish for the stamping and I have to say 299 for a stamping polish. This works really nice with all the stamping and it does, it does really work nicely with this plate at least. Um, that's okay. You almost can't find anything for stamping here in the store. So this was the only set, the only stamping plate I could get here in the store. And if this is a stamping polish which works, that's great. So what I did, I tried to use this one, number 52, um, Amazed by You, the purple Essence the Gel Nail Polish to stamp onto the CND Vinyl Lux Beckoning Begonia and I used the flower pattern. So what I did, if you push down, you have to push down really straight, don't roll it. Push down really straight with a lot of force and then what you do, you don't roll it on the nail. You push straight down as well and this one is really squishy squishy so you push down really hard and it goes on really nicely and it doesn't smudge away or anything so the, the thing is you don't roll you push down really hard straight down and your finger sinks into this gel little squishy stamper quite nicely so the pattern is too small so I have no problem getting the other little ones on but um, so what I did, I kind of patched it up a little bit. I would not wear it like this, but just to show you, I have the beckoning begonia underneath, and then I used this one to stamp on top the, the flower pattern, and even here I missed a little bit. So basically I would, I would say for my nails I need a bigger stamp, where my fingernail sinks in completely, but for sure so even if the stem takes on a little bit more, maybe the stem is even big enough, but this one, the pattern, is not big enough for my nails. There is no way I can get this on how I would like to have it look like to run around with it. So this one was quite okay. I had the edge missing and what I did, I just applied it again, like just on the edge, which is kind of possible, but you have to match it up and there's no way you can match it up that it doesn't look weird and I <laughs> I actually did my my thumb this way and then I attached a little piece and it doesn't look too badly so it's kind of okay but still it's not the quality of stem how I would like to have it look if I run around with it so I don't like it patchy so basically I will use this for smaller nails if my 70 year old son wants to have the stripes that will be possible all the little ones are working I can use these the little butterflies to paint them from the back and apply them and I will show you that in another video but this pattern 
is definitely too small for my nails. So if you buy the stamping set, I'm not sure anymore how the plate was in there, if you can see it, or maybe you can ask the salesperson to open it for you and to have a look, and then you can see maybe if this will be big enough for your nails. So basically it's not for my nails, it's, it's just not big enough. So I just want to show you this one and say good night because it's quite late here now already and uh, on another day I will show you different polishes maybe with a smaller pattern and the butterflies. I really like the butterflies. I can just put the butterflies on like this or I can paint them from the back and put them on and I really like them. But as much as I like this lacy flower pattern, it's just too small for my nails. Okay. So that's disappointing, but it's still a nice stampy set. It's the only one available here in the store, Atlantic Canada. If you know any other store in Nova Scotia which has stamping sets, let me know about it. And yeah, so I, I ordered some more stamping sets or uh, nail stamping plates online and I will give you a re review about them as soon as they arrive. And I will show you some other polishes in the meanwhile with this little stamping plate. It's still a really nice stamping plate by Essence Nail Art, the stampy set. Okay, um, just maybe let me know if you can see anything at all or if I should post a picture maybe in the end. I might try this. I know my camera has not such a great focus as I would have liked it to have. Well, I hope you can get something out of this and uh, let me know if you can or if you can't and yeah, have a good night.